Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Dude is back with another tutorial, and in this uh, episode, I'll be talking a lot, and I'll be teaching you guys about uh, lemmas, synonyms, and antonyms. So this might be a bit long, uh, so I'm not sure about that, but uh, this uh, will also be very important. So uh, fasten your seatbelts for that because this is going to be like one of the most important uh, things regarding the uh, synsets. You know how you can uh, use synsets and wordnet uh, so if you've not seen the previous video i recommend that you go back and watch it first uh, it is on synsets and it is on wordnet how you can import it and how you can use them for generating synonyms and all that in this uh, video i'll be talking about how you can generate all the synonyms for a given word and also generate antonyms but before that we need to generate something called a lemma so Let's get started. So I'll open uh, Python. So before I do anything, I'll explain that a lemma is like a stem. It's like a stem word, you know. So let's say there are words like running and ran or something like that. So the stem word would be run, R-U-N, you know. So let's say uh, uh, there is something called break through. Uh, probably there is a co compound word, but uh, this will have and also breaking so both of these words will have break as the lemma you know so let's just uh, start it off uh, so from nltk.corpus as usual import wordnet all right so that has been imported now after that i'll create an array called uh, let let me call it sr which means uh, synsets array so let's say wordnet.synsets as usual and let me give it a name uh, I mean let me give it uh, give a word so let's uh, deal with the word called win you know all right so it's a blinking which means that it is collecting okay so now it is done so if I open sr what you can see in the array is that you have a lot of insects you have win which is a noun and you have another noun called winnings and there is a verb so what I'm interested in today is this one uh, the third one the third element with an index 2 so to select that I would have to type uh, I, I would have to uh, write sr2 so I get a v which means verb all right so I'll save it as a word of interest so this variable is mine so you can call it anything that you want in your projects so after I do that I have word of interest uh, the synset has been saved as our local variable so now with this I can do a lot of things uh, I can see what the part of speech is as I showed you uh, in the last video uh, and also you can uh, also check out its definition so it means be the winner in a contest or competition be victorious and all this all right so that is the definition of the word of interest that I have uh, just generated but apart from that you can also do something called lemmas so lemmas is a uh, uh, you know uh, another method when you call it it'll give you a list of lemmas an array of lemmas but most of the times it has uh, only one lemma in in the array but you might find uh, uh, more than that depending on the word so this lemma happens to be our i mean i mean our gateway to finding more synonyms and antonyms you know so i would uh, urge you guys urge you guys to actually Make sure that you've understood uh, whatever I just, I mean, uh, I, whatever I've uh, talked about so far. So the word of interest is uh, synset. And the word of interest, uh, when you uh, give a method called lemmas, it generates an array. Now, this array's first element with the index 0 would give me the lemma. So you can, uh, you can have more than one lemmas as well, as I was saying. So how do you generate uh, an array of synonyms? So let us say I want a synonym for, I mean, I want the list of all synonyms for win. So what I do is uh, I'll, I'll use for loops. You know, uh, the, uh, uh, they, they are quite uh, popular. So every, every kid knows it. So for loop, uh, I'll use it in such a way. But before that, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll create an array. I'll create an array for me to, you know, just dump them, dump the synonyms inside. So I'll just uh, instantiate one. So let's say uh, I'll call it sin r is equal to a blank array, and antonyms r is antr, 
and this is another array now in these i can uh, you know dump my synonyms and i can check them check them out uh, later so, you know i mean i can i can check out what they are and all that so the first for loop will be something like this uh, so it'll be like uh, you know for a synonym not uh, i'm sorry for a sin uh, which is a sin set in you know uh, what did we call that we call it sr you know the array of sin sets all right uh, before progressing further i would like to mention that sin r and sr are different sr is an array of sin sets while sin r will be an array of synonyms this is slightly confusing but uh, you know this uh, you know you can't do anything about that okay so sr uh, is the array of sin sets and after this we give an indentation and i'll say for lem lem means a lemma and for lem in sin dot lemmas what i'll do is that i'll say sin r dot append lem dot name so a lemma uh, i've not shown you this uh, i'm sorry so a lemma will have a name method as well so i'll show it to you outside so when i run this it has successfully run so before checking out what is inside our uh, sin r let me just show you uh, whatever i've just missed so when you go back to uh, word of interest dot lemmas and word of interest dot lemmas first element you'll get a lemma and then you can actually run a method called name so that will give a name uh, saying win all right so the these are the names uh, which will be dumped inside the synonyms array so let's get back to what we got so all right so as you can see over here in the array we see that there are a lot of words win winnings win profits win acquire win gain advance win pull ahead make headway get ahead gain ground uh, and uh, win come through bring home the ba bacon and all these things all right, so you also see that uh, we have repetitions over here, win, win, win. So if at all I want to remove that, what I can say is I can just uh, use the set uh, method, you know. So that will convert the array into an object of elements. And it'll, it, it's, it's not an object, it's like a set element, I mean set structure in Python. So... Uh, it will give us the unique values. So if you see over here, there is only one win and rest of all are you know different. All right, so uh, you can check out uh, uh, the length of the synonyms array. It is 20 and the length of unique synonyms array, which are like not repeating, uh, not uh, repeating, will be uh, set synar. All right, so as you can see over here, 14. So when was repeating for four, I mean, six more times, like it was appearing seven times. All right, so this is how you can, you know, you can generate a list of uh, synonyms, basically. So that's it. So, yeah. So after this, what you can do is that you can also uh, create an antonym. But before that, I'll just show you with the word of interest i'll generate an antonym and i'll show you how you can do that so let's say we have a word of interest which is synset uh, of win which is a verb and uh, uh, as i'm saying you can have something you can have many methods on this you can have uh, lemmas and there is another method which is called antonyms oops all right, sorry guys. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to use it with the lemma. So you have to say lemma zero, which is lemma, and then which which is which pinpoints the lemma. And in, to this, I apply the antonyms method. All right. So as you can see over here, I get a lemma uh, saying lose. I uh, but uh, this is an array, so I can again uh uh you know use the zeroth uh, index and you can see that i get a lemma and i can again use uh you know name method over here so that we get you know we get a lose all right so if you have seen uh i mean uh, i mean you just seen uh, how you can generate an antonym but what if i want the list of all antonyms so how do i do that so 
uh, for synonyms, you have seen that we have a long process. I mean, not a long process, but we have applied for loop twice. But for antonyms, we need to apply for loop thrice. So I'll show you how. So if uh, just uh, remember that uh, we have used uh, an, empty, an empty array over here and we have used SR. SR happens to be the uh, array of synsets. Similarly, what I'll do is that uh, I'll just say for sin, which is a synset in SR, right? Uh, and for lem inside a sin dot lemmas, which is a grouping. And for and in lem dot antonyms. So if you remember, we have uh, we have an array. Uh, so we have an array of uh, lemmas and an array of antonyms for each lemma. So we have to select in this way and give it an indentation. And after this, uh, we can say and r dot append, and we say and dot name. Don't forget to add the ant dot name. So before running this, I'll just show you that uh, you know over here we just ran it ran three lines. We had a first sin and sin sr for a lem in sin dot lemmas and sin r dot app in lem dot name. But over here we have an extra uh, line, and uh, though it is a bit different, but you know it is uh, slightly analogous. So over here, as you can see over here, we Let's hit it, and as you see, we have we have successfully like uh, pushed them. So let's see what what we have. All right. So as you can see over here, we have ant r as well, and similarly, uh, I can also generate. I can also make it a set and get the unique number of values. So I can check how many antonyms I have, and I can check how many unique antonyms I have by using the set command. All right, so as you can see over here, we have four uh, um, four antonyms, fallback, losings, lose, fail. And we have uh, synonyms over here, synar, so which is advance, gain, win, profit, acquire, all these things. All right, guys, so that was a quick tutorial. So I tried to be quick, but it might have taken a lot of time. So I urge you that you get to speed with this, uh, with these, you know, with the uh, word net and stuff like this, because it is quite used uh, to generate a lot of antonyms, synonyms and all that. And rewatch this video if you have uh, any pro uh, any kind of doubts and questions and all that. And you you can also uh, comment down on, on in, the, in the comment section. I'll be glad to help. So yeah that's about it and also uh, like this video and also share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you're new all right guys uh, that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching bye bye